Hi everyone, I'm Rincy and I am one of the contributing editors over at Book Riot. Now there is one like subgenre of books that I really am drawn to and really enjoy reading and that is the subgenre of prison books, which obviously isn't a happy subject, like I don't enjoy reading it because it fills me with glee, but I think that those types of stories can provide some really great insight into this world that I know absolutely nothing about. Now a lot of the more popular prison stories or prison books are told from the point of view of prisoners, but the books that I'm going to be recommending for you guys today are prison books that are told from a different point of view, someone else who would be involved in the system or this world that isn't necessarily the prisoner themselves. Obviously the prisoner point of view is extremely important to hear, but this is to provide sort of like a different angle. So the first recommendation that I have is New Jack, Guarding Sing Sing. This is a memoir by Ted Conover, who is this really well-known journalist. He wanted to shadow a New York prison guard, but he was denied that request. And so to sort of sidestep that, he ended up just applying for a job there and he ends up basically going undercover as a corrections officer. In case you guys aren't aware, where Sing Sing is a maximum security prison currently located in New York and it's actually a pretty well-known maximum security prison if you know anything about the prison system. Ted Conover basically just applies for a job and then talks about his time working in this position. He is very open and honest and clear about the things that he was required to do, the things that you would think would be required but aren't required of him, and just the way that the prison system works from the prison guard's point of view. He spends about a year as a corrections officer there and so he talks about both what he experiences there as well as the history of just the prison system in general as well as Sing Sing. The next book I want to highlight for you guys is Just Mercy by Brian Stevenson. This is also a memoir. Brian Stevenson is a lawyer who now works in Alabama. He founded the Equal Justice Initiative, which is basically a nonprofit that works to help people who are on death row who have been wrongly convicted. Brian Stevenson does a really great job of highlighting some of the cases that he's worked on, some of the people that he's worked with while working in Alabama, and just all of the obstacles that he comes across, from police officers to judges to people working in the prisons. And some of these people are just like blatantly racist. Some of these people are just overly prideful and don't want to admit when they've made a mistake. And some of these people are just apathetic towards the entire judicial system, it seems like, and don't want to put in the effort to make the right choices. One of the main cases that he talks about is the case of Walter McMillan, who was basically sentenced and put on death row for a murder that he didn't commit. And if you read the facts of the case, it's like impossible to believe that this man was actually convicted. But he was. It's one of those books that sounds super depressing and there are parts of it that really just broke my heart and made me want to cry but there's also a lot of hope in this book which I appreciated. I think that's also partially because Brian Stevenson is so passionate about the work that he does that it helps provide hope for the fact that there are people working to try to change the system and right the wrongs that have been made in the past. And the final book that I want to highlight is The Enchanted by Renee Denfeld. This is actually a fiction book, but Renee Denfeld actually works as a prison investigator in real life. And so this story, you are following a couple of different characters. One of them is a prison investigator. One of them is a priest who works to help minister to the people who are on death row and another person is a person who's actually on death row about to die. The story is about more than just prison life and death row in and of itself. It talks a lot about pasts and histories and guilt and love and all of those big deep things that books tend to examine. But I think that the book does a really great job of highlighting just the work that a prison investigator does to try to help those people who are on death row as well as the role that a priest has to play in ministering to people who are about to die. This book is really really affecting. I read this book in about one or two days and there were times when I had to just put this book down because like my heart was so heavy with the things that were being described in this book. Because Renee Denfeld again works as an investigator herself, she has this experience that she brings to this book that brings such realness to it that I've never really experienced before. Like when you read 
other fiction books like The Green Mile or even Shawshank Redemption, which is both written by Stephen King. Like Stephen King is a writer first and foremost, so there's a little bit of distance between what he's writing about and what he's actually experienced, but you can kind of tell that Renee Denfeld has been in this world and has worked in this world and has that to bring to this fiction story. So if you're someone who doesn't read nonfiction normally, so you wouldn't read like the other two books even though I would still recommend them, this would be a good place for you if you want something that's more along the fiction lines or if you want something else to accompany that prison story so it's not just about the prison system. So yeah, those are my recommendations for you guys today. Feel free to leave a comment down below if you've read either any of these books or you have any recommendations of your own. So yeah, that's all I have for this week and I will see you guys next week. Bye!